Welcome back to the second half of the semi-final round for Category 4 of the Sakshi Spell B presented by Duke Swafi in association with Trips International School, Rajamandri. Hope you are all ready for the second half. Let's begin right away. Word number 16 is Paleolithic. This refers to the earliest period of the Stone Age characterized by rough or chipped stone implements. The word is Paleolithic. The word is Paleolithic. Word number 17 is portmanteau. This refers to a word blending the sounds and combining the meanings of two others, for example, motel or branch. The word is portmanteau. The word is portmanteau. Word number 18 is prairie. This refers to land in or predominantly in grass. The word is Prairie. The word is prairie. Word number nineteen is quiddity. The meaning of this word is whatever makes something the type that it is, its essence. The word is quiddity. The word is quiddity. Word number 20, quinoa. It refers to an annual herb of the goosefoot family that is native to the Andean highlands and is cultivated for its starchy seeds which are used as food and ground into flour too. The word is quinoa. The word is quinoa. Word number 21 is razzmatazz. This refers to a colorful way to talk about activity that's meant to impress or distract people with its showiness. The word is razzmatazz. The word is razzmatazz. Word number 22 is ricochet. This means a glancing rebound as of a projectile off of a flat surface. The word is 
ricochet. The word is ricochet. Word number 23 is rodomontade. It essentially means a bragging speech. The word is rodomontade. The word is rodomontade. Word number 24 is Rottweiler. This refers to a large, powerful dog of a tall, black and tan breed. The word is Rottweiler. The word is Rottweiler. Word number 25 is Schadenfreude. This essentially means or refers to any enjoyment obtained from the troubles of others. The word is Schadenfreude. The word is Schadenfreude. Word number 26 is Subpoena. This refers to a writ that orders a person to attend a court. This word is related to law. The word is subpoena. The word is subpoena. Word number 27 is Tolkien. This is a biological name. The word is Tolkien. The word is Tolkien. Word number 28 is ubiquitous. This means present, appearing or found anywhere. The word is ubiquitous. The word is Ubiquitous. Word number 29 is vermicelli. This refers to a pasta made in long solid strings smaller in diameter than spaghetti. The word is vermicelli. The word is vermicelli. And the thirtieth word is zierweld.
This is a name given to the Albany area of the Eastern Cape. The word is Zierweld. The word is Zierweld. And now we are done with the 30 words. So let's do a quick run through of these words once again and let's begin. Word number one, arpeggio. Word number two, brontosaurus. Word number three, sinajwar. Word number four, detente. Word number five, farago. Word number six, gnocchi. Word number seven, gourmet. Word number eight, hexati. Word number nine, jalapeno. Word number ten, labyrinth. Word number eleven, lasagna. Word number 12, Massa. Word number 13, Mellifluous. Word number 14, Obnoxious. Word number 15, Onomatopoeia. Word number 16, Paleolithic. Word number 17, Portmanteau. Word number 18, Prairie. Word number 19, Quiddity. Word number 20, Quinoa. Word number 21, Brasmatas. Word number 22, Ricochet. Word number 23, Rudimonted. Ro Word number 24, Rottweiler. Word number 25, Schadenfreude. Word number 26, Subpoena. Word number 27, Tolkien. Word number 28, Ubiquitous. Word number 29, Vermicelli. Word number 30, Zurel. And this brings us to the end of semi-final for category 4 of the Sakshi Spellby presented by Duke Swafi in association with Trips International School Rajamendri. All the very best and I hope to see you in the finals. Take care and bye-bye.